All right, quick TA update on Bitcoin. So there's not a lot to go through today. As I've been talking about, if you've been watching my Bitcoin videos, I've been saying this for the past week. I've been saying before the Fed meeting, in my opinion, we are just going to see chop downwards and sideways price action. And what I mean by chop is really chop, 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 chop. We're just going up, down, up, down, up, down within this tight range. Now, if we come down, well, to be fair, I didn't need to come down. If I just zoom in, you can see if we connect the lows, the lows of this at this time on the daily are coming in at 37,500. If you look at the price, you can see we're just hovering above the bottom of this trend line. We really need to stick around these levels and just hold in for another day or so. Uh, if we zoom out to some slightly higher time frames, you can see if we connect the wicks that we've got down here, if I remove these so you can see the wicks a bit better, you can see connecting these trend lines, we're also perfectly finding an apex between the two trend lines. And we're kind of just nesting between this range before we decide whether to make a big move to the upside or a big move to the downside, in my opinion. And in my opinion, I still do think the move to the upside is much more likely. Uh, if we connect the trend lines that we're running off at this moment in time, you can see we're, we're forming something like a descending wedge, depending on which trend lines you want to connect it to. We could even draw it out to here, to be honest. Let's say this best defines, best defines the trend. Can we draw it up to here? No, I don't think we can, but if we draw it to here, you can see we're in a falling wedge right now. Uh, these do have, I believe, a 66.6% .6 recurring chance. So basically two thirds of the time they do break out to the upside. I am expecting this to break to the upside. In my opinion, I can see there's a lot of support coming in for Bitcoin. If we look at this on the daily, like I said, you've got this ascending floor here and you've got this descending floor here, which we are finding support on. And between all of that, you've got your apex in this nice little zone that I really do hope we hold. You can also see a descend, descending wedge. I mean, you could even draw this all the way back to here. And then I'm sure you could encompass this on the daily with these trend lines. Yeah, I mean, you could definitely argue something like this is playing out if we connect it to the top. Yeah, I, I mean, I think this would definitely be looking to get broken out in the next couple of days. Uh, like I've been saying, I am really sitting on the sidelines until the Fed meeting is all wrapped up. So I just wanted to give you a super quick update. Uh, also, we were going to check out the Fear and Greed Index, but it's the exact same as it was yesterday. Uh, they haven't updated it. I don't understand how the Fear and Greed Index is going up. You know, it was only the other day we were at 20 and then we increased to 22 as the price went down and then the price went down further and now we went up to 28 and now 27 so i expect this to cool down a little bit maybe sit in extreme fear by tomorrow however the fed meeting is coming in the next 24 hours it should have been between today and tomorrow so when i say 24 hours i mean everything should be wrapped up we should find out what the news is i, I imagine by early tomorrow at the utmost latest 48 hours from where we are now coming into the 15th or sorry the 5th of may i think we'll have a decision on this now to wrap up the bitcoin video because like i said there's not an awful lot going on in the price we're just kind of sitting at this apex so bear in mind keep an eye on 37,500. in my opinion i would really really like to hold that region before we do wrap up the video let's check out what's going on with the greater market so we can get a better understanding on what is going on with crypto right now if we start off on the daily time frame for the dollar bullish momentum is here like there's no other we're seeing consolidation at you know extremely dangerous levels for the dollar on the four hourly time frame we're finding support which is very worrying i i do hope the dollar drops out but like i said i have to look at my analysis from an unbiased perspective i hold crypto i don't want the dollar to rally if the dollar rallies my cryptos are going to get beaten to death however looking at this it is getting very worrying we've already rallied above well, technically, if you're drawing the trend lines, we should have topped out down here at 102. And you can see we temporarily found like a day or two of resistance. The second touch point was right here at 102. We rallied above that. The third touch point, which I really, really do not think it'd be good if we broke above. If we broke above this trend line here, 
all the way up at you know 103 at the high 103s but let's just call it 104 then i really do think that could be the nail in the coffin for crypto for the next couple of months and it feels horrible to say that but just looking at this objectively every time the dollar goes on a bull run sometimes bitcoin follows but most of the time 90% of the time Bitcoin is inversely correlated to the dollar. It is very rare that you see the dollar and Bitcoin going up at the same time. I believe they went up coming into the end of 2018 when Bitcoin was rallying. They both went up at somewhat the same time. Apart from that, I can't think of any other times where they've had macro moves in the same vicinity. So the dollar looks very good gold i mean gold just looks boring sideways 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 if we look at coinbase coinbase is still looking i mean really really nasty if we come over to the four hour it was only four hours ago we got rejected from the four hourly emas and there is selling volume coming in tesla tesla just about held in there if we come over to the daily time frame you know it looks a little bit more ugly when you do it like this because you can see we flipped below this trend line and now we're breaking back below it. Tesla took a huge, huge dump the other day. I'd really like to see Tesla recover because, you know, when you see blue chip stocks like Coinbase, I guess Coinbase is somewhat debatable whether you want to consider it a blue chip. I personally do. But then Tesla, Facebook dumping. I mean, Facebook's trying. It's really, really trying to get above the daily EMAs, but still looking kind of bearish. The SPY did have a nice potential double bottom playing out. The NASDAQ also managed to bounce on its trend line. The SPX, something slightly different. We broke below it and now we're retesting it. So like I've been saying, it's gonna be boring chop until the Fed meeting comes. I'm waiting on the sidelines. I am not longing, I am not shorting. I'm simply waiting for the Fed meeting to be wrapped up and done with. One more bullish thing to wrap up the video with, the Bitcoin shorts have started to landslide, which is normally good because when the Bitcoin shorts go on parabolic rallies, they normally don't take breathers. They just go up in a straight line. You can see most of the time, or literally all the time that they're successful, they just go up in a straight line with absolutely nothing stopping them. So seeing this top out over the past couple of days does bring me some confidence in the Bitcoin market. It at least shows that the bears are sitting on the sideline until we do have the Federal Reserve meeting all wrapped up. So that's all I've got for Bitcoin. I do look forward to updating you on the Federal Reserve news tomorrow. However, until then, expect more boring price action. That's all I've got for you today. As always, cowboy out, not financial advice. Peace.